cardio for weight loss. You must produce a calorie deficit to lose weight. Your daily caloric intake must be smaller than your daily caloric activity. The amount of exercise you're willing to put in over a week will determine how much weight you lose. Consider using a calorie counting app if you're unsure of how to generate a deficit or if you need support achieving your goals. Your daily food intake and daily physical activity can be entered into these trackers, allowing you to check your current calories in and calories out equation. You need a 3,500 calorie deficit, or burning 3,500 more calories per week than you take in, is required if you want to lose one pound each week. To maximize your exercise time, think about choosing physical activities that burn the most calories in the quickest amount of time. The powerful muscles in your lower body will often need to be used at a moderate to vigorous level. The most crucial element is enjoying a fun activity that is accessible. Different aerobic methods for weight loss. Steady state cardio. Working at a low to moderate intensity, roughly 65 to 80 percent of your maximal heart rate, for a prolonged period is one of the finest forms of cardio for losing weight. Although this form of aerobics doesn't burn a lot of calories, it does use a lot of fat tissue as fuel and isn't very exhausting. Long outdoor walks or a slow jog are two instances of steady state cardio. Exercises that demand you to maintain motion for longer periods stress both your physical and mental endurance. Furthermore, for eight weeks of training, both steady-state cardio and HIIT exercises produced comparable outcomes, indicating that the greatest cardio workouts are truly a matter of personal preference and what you're prepared to stay with over the long term for results. Interval training Interval training varies in intensities, much like HIIT but with slightly longer duration exercises. For instance, if you want to run, you might sprint or run for 20 to 30 seconds before slowing down and walking for 2 minutes. Pick two intensities per interval, often one at 85% and the other at 60% of your maximum heart rate. Alternate between the two intensities. For example, exercising at 85% for 20 to 30 seconds and 60% for a minute results in greater calorie burning and greater energy output. Another example would be jumping rope. Two minutes of jumping rope, followed by one minute of relaxation restart with jumping rope for one minute this time, followed by a minute of relaxation. In the third and final round, jump rope for 20 to 30 seconds before taking a 30 second break. You should perform this exercise five times to achieve a strong aerobic workout. Hit High Intensity Interval Training If you have a hectic schedule, all you need to do is the best cardio for weight loss for 15 or 20 minutes a few times a week. Hit is a very well-liked kind of exercise because it can be finished quickly, burns calories quickly, and can even be done at home or during a lunch break at work. The best aspect is that no special equipment is needed. HIT is often 25 to 30 seconds of high-intensity exercise followed by 10 seconds of active rest performed with your body weight, keeping your heart rate raised throughout the full 15-minute workout. Top 10 Cardio Exercises 1. Walking or Running Walking is the most popular exercise because it doesn't need any additional equipment and is suitable for heart patients. Running is harder on your joints than walking but it burns twice as many calories. 2. Swimming You work out your entire body, you also build muscle strength and endurance. The pool is a great place to start if you struggle with weight control because it's easier on your joints. For people who have orthopedic or arthritic issues, it's a good alternative. 3. Jumping rope This simple, portable exercise improves coordination and is inexpensive but it can be hard on the feet, ankles, knees, and back. If you have any orthopedic issues. 4. Cycling or spinning. An indoor or outdoor cycling program is beneficial for everyone. You can set your own pace and adjust the resistance during spin or cycle classes to suit your fitness level. Outdoor riding may easily be included in your day, such as during your commute to work, and it mixes fitness and enjoyment. 
With stationary bikes, you can work out in the comfort of your own home or set the bike next to a television or stereo to keep your mind busy. 5. Cross-Country Skiing An aerobic exercise that benefits our entire body. Skiing is relatively simple to start up since it makes use of your body's natural mobility, and it has a low injury rate. 6. Mixed Martial Arts Martial arts improve hand-eye coordination and require quick movements. They improve your balance and develop your core muscles. Punches, kicks, and submissions are all excellent full-body workouts. 7. Rowing Your arms and back get toned while you row. It works wonders for getting rid of flabby arms. Rowing equipment is available in gyms if you would rather exercise indoors. Go for canoe riding if you enjoy being on the open water. 8. Racquetball Racquetball doesn't immediately come to mind when you think of intense workouts. But this sport requires continual movement. In just 30 minutes, sprinting around the court can help you burn more than 400 calories. 9. Burpees Squats, jumping, and push-ups are combined in burpees. Because you work out many muscle groups, including your chest, legs, and core, you effectively burn fat from your entire body. 10. Kettlebell Swings Kettlebell swings are often only done by people who are already physically fit. Dumbbells are more accessible, less expensive, and simpler to grasp. Swinging a kettlebell can work muscles you might not otherwise use. Swinging a kettlebell will also test your balance and center of gravity. The best way to begin and maintain a new activity is to incorporate it into your daily routine. Choose a time of day that fits you, then build up gradually. Three to five times a week is the good schedule. Intensity Target heart rates, the talk test, or an exertion rating scale can all be used to gauge how hard an exercise is being done. The objective is to exert moderate intensity working hard but not too hard for the greatest health advantages. Time, 30 to 60 minutes, of at least 20 minutes should be spent engaging in aerobic activity. Safety Issues Before beginning any program, be sure to receive approval from your doctor if you have a medical condition, have been inactive, are overweight, or are middle-aged or senior. To begin, Always warm up for 5 to 10 minutes. Performing the exercise slowly to enable the blood to flow to the muscles may serve as a warm-up. Include a cool-down interval at the program's conclusion. Always listen to your body's signals. You're likely not doing enough if you don't feel tired afterward or feel like you're not gaining greatly from cardio. On the other hand, if you're exhausted or burned out, you're probably pushing yourself too hard. The long-term benefits of cardio Decreases the risk of having a heart attack and a stroke. Exercise reduces blood pressure, cholesterol markers, heart structure, and blood vessel function, making it one of the best things we can do for our hearts. While some studies claim that exercising for 30 minutes a day is sufficient to maintain heart health, others claim that additional exercise is necessary to make a significant difference. It's difficult to predict how low amounts of activity may affect heart health over the long run because some studies suggest that light activity may even be sufficient to benefit the heart. However, not all of the available data supports this. Additionally, it has been shown that overexertion stresses the heart. All of this points to a sweet spot for ideal cardiovascular health that is probably in the middle. A great way to remain with your program is to involve other people, such as your partner, kids, or even your pet. If you are in charge of someone else, you are less likely to skip an exercise. It becomes social, which is quite advantageous. Create a schedule, have acceptable expectations, and treat your workout like any other important appointment. If you need a break, take one. You'll probably feel revitalized when you get back to the action. The cumulative effect of all of the aforementioned advantages is a generally healthier and possibly longer life. Exercise aids in keeping your body and mind youthful. Thank you for watching this video.